this example, uh, we will use Kirchhoff's current laws, Kirchhoff's voltage law, and Ohm's law to find a current in the circuit. In this case, particularly the current through the 50 ohm resistor, which is shown as current I1. So here's a circuit with 120 volt and a 6 amp supply and two resistive elements, 10 ohm and 50 ohm. Okay. All right. So let's get started here. So we'll we'll first. Uh, look at applying Kirchhoff's current law. So let's, before we do that, we need to first pick the polarity of uh, currents and voltages on the different uh, resistive elements here. Uh, we basically just assign a particular direction for a current. Uh, and then based on that, we get the polarity of the voltage. For example, current I1 right here is shown as going from top to bottom. Uh, by passive sign convention, that means the voltage across this resistor is designated with a positive sign. The current always enters the plus sign uh, and then exits on the minus sign, okay, based on passive sign convention. So that's how we write V1. For uh, the 10 ohm resistor, let's write down plus minus V2, which means that this writing plus minus V2 basically says the current should be entering on the plus sign. So I2 enters on the plus sign. Now the six amp current is coming out of this current source and it flows up this way and through right here. So let's add a six amp current right there. The next thing we'll do is now look at Kirchhoff's current law. So here is a node designated with a blue circle right there. At that node, Kirchhoff's current law says some of the current coming in equals some of the current going out. So what are the currents coming in? The currents coming in, in here are I2 is coming into this node, 6 amp is coming into this node, and the current going out is equal to I1. So the sum of the current coming in is I2 plus 6 amp, and the sum of the current going out is simply I1. So we have I2 plus 6 is equal to I1. So we'll keep that expression there for now. Now look at this particular part of the circuit. We'll apply Kirchhoff's voltage laws. Kirchhoff's voltage law basically says if you walk around the loop, some of the currents, some sorry, if you walk around the loop, the sum of the voltages around that loop should add up to zero. So let's walk, take a walk around that loop. So if I, let's start right here. So if I start here, the first sign I encounter is minus 120. I encounter plus V2, and then I encounter plus V1, and then I get back to where I started. So minus 120 plus V2 plus V1 should be equal to zero. Now I can rearrange that as V2 plus V1 equals 120. So if you use Kirchhoff's current law at this node, Kirchhoff's voltage law to walk around this loop right here. Now let's use Ohm's law. Ohm's law says the voltage across a resistive element is equal to the current through that element times this resistance. So uh, right here, V2 is I2 times the resistance 10. So let's replace V2 with 10 I2 and V1 uh, with I1 times 50. So I2 times 10 plus I1 times 50 equals 120. Now, what are we interested in? We're interested in finding I1. So we have two expressions right here. Two expressions. One expression has uh, 50 I1 plus 10 I2 equals 120. And the second expression has I2 plus 6 equals I1. So we have two expressions and two unknowns. We could easily solve this using any uh, simultaneous equation solving uh, technique. Uh, so let's go here. We're interested in finding out I1. So let's look to replace I2 with I1. So basically I2 can be rearranged as I2 equals I1 minus 6. So if we go back and replace that I2 right there, we get I1 minus 6 times 10 plus 50 I1 equals 120. And by doing simple uh, algebra, I get 10 I1 minus 60 plus 50 I1 equals 120. And 60 I1 equals 180. And simplifying that gives me I1 equals 3 amps. So this gives me 3 amps right here. Okay, so that's what we're asked to find. So we're asked to find the current I1. Is it, What is current I1? 